Hey friends, welcome back to Heartscapes and welcome to the winter solstice. This evening in the Northern Hemisphere here, we will be entering into the longest night of the year. This time that really calls us into rest and reflection, into stillness, into perhaps even hibernation. A time for reflecting, for being with what is and what might come to pass in the time ahead. It can be a time that challenges us, uh, particularly as we go into the winter season, and it can be a time of great and deep gifts. And what I am really sitting with, the gift that I'm sitting with here on the day of the longest night is a deep, deep sense of gratitude for many things. But in particular, a deep sense of gratitude for you, for those of you who have been on this journey with me for however long you've been here. Perhaps this is the first time you're hearing my voice and seeing my face, or perhaps you've been with me and with Heartscapes for some time. But because of all of you saying yes to the journey home to yourself in some way, I get to be in a community of incredible souls. And I get to pursue my, my work, my soul's calling, my purpose, however we want to name that. And so I just wanted to take a pause here to, to tell you explicitly how grateful I am for you. To share a little bit about that and a little bit of a gift at the end. Um, you know, just on a personal level, I grew up in a very isolated way. Um, in terms of community and family. And, you know, it's, it's truly been a, a theme of my life. It's been a pivoting point of my whole life to try to learn how to build and sustain meaningful community around me in many capacities. It's a, it's a lesson I'll be learning my whole life. Um, and one that I've come a long way with, certainly. And it was, it was that lesson, the need to continue learning that lesson that I think ultimately was what buoyed me into taking the risk of starting my own business, starting on this path of building a business that centers on my passions and centers on the things that I know deep inside me I'm meant to share with other people and to receive feedback from those other people that yes, indeed, these are things that are wanted and needed. It's what prompted me to take the risk to start this YouTube channel um, and, and other forms of kind of sharing from a vulnerable place what has heart and meaning for me and what is at the center of what I have to offer to you. Um, you know, putting out videos uh, widely on the internet was not something that I uh, ever really aspired to do in and of itself. It was quite frankly terrifying when I started doing it. Um, I'm really glad I stuck with it though, because now nearly a thousand people are here with us in this community on YouTube and many, many, many of you, um, are also connected with me through, through other pathways that Heartscapes carves. Um, I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. And it's, um, incredibly inspiring and buoying to know that the things that have so much, have so enriched my life and brought me to places that, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years ago, uh, I thought would have been impossible. Um, that those are things that I get to bring to your life. And I get to see the ways that you make the impossible possible in your life. That's just amazing to me. So thank you. I have so appreciated getting to work with people who are committed to bringing the system of Reiki into their lives as a point of self-development and self-practice to help them live lives that are rooted, spacious, and connected. And to do that through a program that is trauma-informed, that is culturally respectful, and that is uh, both firm and flexible in how we work with folks. And so this is, this is my love song to all of you. This is my gratitude. This is my solstice prayer and uh, reflection to all of you. And I wanted to close by sharing the words of somebody who uh, I turn to often when I 
whether or not I'm struggling with just the right words, uh, Pixie Lighthorse always has the right words to express something meaningful in the moment. Um, I have read a variety of uh, poems and prayers from her books, uh, this one, Prayers of Honoring, and I wanted to close out today by reading her prayer, Honoring Community. And this is shared with you in honor of you, in gratitude to you, in solidarity with you, and in the hopes that we will continue to be in community for a long time to come. So this is A Prayer of Honoring Community by Pixie Lighthorse. Thank you for the ones who find their way to our sides, our brothers and sisters, our tribes and our clans. Thank you for the willingness to take care of one another and to value our contributions as a whole. Help us put the good of the whole before the good of the few. We need your support to expand and take the next steps. Ease our fears and teach us to gather in a circle of equals. Remind us that a circle has no beginning and no end. Nature contains innumerable examples of the beauty of co-leading and the sacred geometry of the many parts working as one. Manage our defenses, diffuse our bombs, humble us so that we can tune into your divine frequency again and hear each other's joys and cries. Impart to us immense tolerance for the eccentricities in one another, knowing that we have them too. Strengthen our connections and bring us together like family. Remove our irrational fears of moving along the road together and allow us to look at all options for teaming up. Inspire in us the creativity required to dream outside of our insular boxes and single family homes. Instead, may we meet up at the fireside to break some bread together and to spread our beautiful ideas out on the table like a feast. Lean us into one another's shoulders when we need a care. Fill us with unassailable hope that our collaborations will yield great harvests. Humble our pace with patience for one another. Slow our progress when we need to take a break to truly appreciate and understand the consequences. Clear our injuries so that we can hear what's being presented today. Teach us to barter and to trade for what we need. Show us new ways of conducting community and commerce that benefit our higher purpose and our fellowship. Remind us that not so long ago, our currency was simply trading our best work for someone else's to meet our needs. Burn up our excess ego and inspire our communications with thunderous compassion. Provide us with the strength of character needed to be good to each other. Let us default to great love in times of doubting ourselves and each other as we work towards solutions. Hmm. Friends, I just invite you to breathe in whatever piece of that was for you. Please know that from my heart, all of it was for you because I have learned all of this and more from being in connected community with all of you. I would love to hear what has meaning for you. I'd love to hear your own celebrations. What happened for you this year that feels full of gratitude for you now, that has helped you move towards your contribution, towards your purpose? What are you looking forward to next year? What are you worried about for next year? Let's create some space around that. And above all, as you walk into this longest night, may you feel rested, may you feel held, may you feel deeply provisioned for this journey. Thank you so much for being with me today and all the days that you are. I love you. Until next time, goodbye.